hello and welcome to my channel for those of you who don't know me i'm steph and today's video as you will have seen by the title is is i will be trying the new serenity palette from cosmic brushes cosmic brushes is a uk indie brand that i did already know of because i do have their first palette love that don't want to give anything away here um but yes i was a little late to the game because i missed out on the original launch because it sold out before i got there i was gutted um but i do have this beauty in my possession now and well this is the cover yes yeah, packaging um and then this is the color story that we are going to be playing with today so guys if you would like to see how i created this look and hear what my first impressions are of the serenity palette from cosmic brushes then just keep on watching okay guys firstly i'm just going to quickly apologize if you hear bits of traffic it is absolutely sweltering here so i do have the window open a bit i can't not it's so hot um but yes, I've already primed my eyes with the ABH eye primer. Love this. I've been so, so excited to try this palette. So yeah, it arrived while I was ill and now I'm playing with it. Um, so the first shade I'm going in with is Mood. Um, I do have their first palette. I absolutely love it. It is in one of my big palette boxes and it's just, it's too hot for me to kind of be messing around too much I'm already sweating buckets so um I'm fully expecting to love this so uh I would be more surprised if I didn't um the first palette oh it is so so beautiful yeah, I've been super excited to try this and this shade is absolutely stunning I didn't want to be predictable and go straight in with greens which is what I always want to do the moment I see a green I want to play with it I should decide in a moment yeah this blue is packing on beautifully so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how how the other shades kind of blend into each other. I love this colour story. It is absolutely gorgeous. There is not a single shade in this palette that I won't use, which is just fantastic. Um for me that doesn't happen so often because if they've got the whole kind of skin colour, bone colour mattes, I don't use them, um, so they're kind of wasted in a palette for me, and I know a lot of people do love to use them, it's just not really how I like to, how I like to do my makeup. I appreciate it. it's really difficult for brands to try and please everybody, because that's never going to happen. Okay, so I am loving this shade. This is beautiful. And do I want to, shall I go down the more purpley route? Yeah, I think I'm going to. So yes, I'm going to go into Pixie. Oh, it's so tough trying to decide when it, you've got a palette that's just all colours that you love. It's so difficult difficult to kind of choose a colour story to do at that time. And I'm kind of stamping it on and wiggling a little bit. This shade is really nice. I'm bringing that in a little bit further. This is such a beautiful colour. Oh my word. It when you look at it in the pan, that doesn't do it justice. This purple is stunning. 
it's got a real vibrancy to it I'm hoping that that's coming off or coming across on camera let me know but yeah I have been so good at not watching videos on like the palettes that I have to try it's so hard because there's so many of my friends over here on YouTube that just I'm just so desperate to watch their videos on these things but on these things on products that I've picked up to try but I've been a good girl but it's just that I don't want to go in with kind of a certain expectation although because I do have the first palette from Cosmic Brushes um, I was going in with obviously a certain amount of expectation because I I am aware of what they can do oh my god I'm sweating so much I apologize guys but I really want to film and I don't know when this heat wave is gonna end so you're just going to have to deal with sweaty me, unfortunately. Hopefully you can't see that on camera. I love the vibrancy of this shade. Wow. Okay, and I think the, the next shade I'm going in with is Awake on here. And lightly lightly over the edges there oh, I won't bring this all the way in because there's another shade I want to use um, these are performing beautifully absolutely beautifully yeah just leaving this part open and that I'm I'm channeling my inner Katie. I actually watched Katie of Makeup for Lost Time and she mentioned leaving the inner part open to put another colour and oh, it always looks so beautiful when she does it. So I am I'm channeling my inner Katie. Okay guys, I'm just gonna quickly go back through those shades just blend them well it takes me ages and I don't want this video to be too too long so I'm going to quickly go back through those shades and then I'll come back to continue so yeah just wait there okay I'm pretty happy with that blend so far so I am going to take you so I'm going to go into echo this beautiful bright Turquoise shade. I don't know why I even bother trying to, to describe colours. I just thought this would look really nice, just this proper pop of just bright brightness. Oh she does. I'm tr also trying to try as many shades as I can in one look just to get a better feel for just the quality of the the whole palette not complaining so far um beautiful absolutely beautiful and then like i said before i do have the first palette and it is amazing so i was fully expecting for this to be amazing also and yeah, so far, I was not wrong. Oh, just look at that colour. Oh, isn't that just stunning? And you look at the pigment and how easy it blends. Okay, I'm a little bit obsessed with that. I am just going to take the brush from the kind of middle purple shade. And I'm just going to just uh, 
Наше НЛРУП. Okay, so I've quickly popped on some of my Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer. I love this. And I'm first going to go into Twilight. I'm so excited to try these shimmers. It's been so hard for me not to swatch this. Because it just looks so beautiful. As soon as I saw the colour story, uh, well... I was excited anyways because let's see I have the first first palette and I love it but kind of seeing the colour story um I could just see it was so much well so much of a Steph palette. Ooh I'm loving I'm loving this. Loving it. Um oh I'm going to have to go with that one. It's got to be that one. I've got to do it. Yeah. Why have I? Yes. I'm going to go into Ether. This looks absolutely stunning and shifty. So I am super, super excited. Oh, oh yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is, this is stunning. Oh, I hope you can see the kind of blue to purple shift in this. It is, it is so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. This is so beautiful now i'm so glad that i decided to do the the blue and purple even if it's just for this shade having said that i mean just look at those mattes as well they've just blended so beautifully oh How many of you guys have picked this palette up? And um, if you have, have you tried it yet? What do you think of it? I love hearing what other people think of things, just mainly because everybody's so different and everybody's tastes are different. Um, no one thing suits everybody. So it's always, it's always interesting to hear other people's take on things so that's such i think a thing that should be embraced rather than kind of argued about is the differences in people because it's those differences that make each each person unique And I think that should be celebrated. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, my word. I'm quickly going to go back into just a little bit of the first shimmer. Just to kind of assist the blend. Oh, this is... I have no words. I love this. The shiftiness in that, this shade, the ether, is just, oh, to die for. Absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to go back into the, the deepest of the mattes. I used Mood. And I'm just going to use that. Just a little bit, just to blend in. And blend it all in. Yeah, okay. 
I am loving how this is looking. So I am going to nip off, finish my face. Um, I will come back and I'll do the lower lash line along with you guys. So yeah, if you would like to see that, carry on with me, then just stay where you are. Okay guys, so I am back to do the lower lash line with you. Um, I'm trying to decide which way I want to go. I think actually, I'm going to go in with Forest. I tried so hard to resist the greens. I'm sorry guys. Sorry, not sorry. I do love my greens. And I think it's going to look really nice. This is a really nice deep green. I do love that it's got different options for deepening shades. You've got your really deep green, your really deep blue, you've got your black. I just think it's fantastic. It's got absolutely everything, everything you need. You've got your inner corner, the lot. I'm so, so happy that I picked this up. I didn't get it first go round. Sadly, I missed out on that it was sold out but I don't mind waiting when what you're waiting for is of, of this quality oh look at that beautiful okay so I am hmm, I'm gonna go into moss These colours are just, oh, they're heavenly. That is looking so nice. Oh, guys, if this is a colour story that you find inspiring, you would not regret this. These shadows are so easy to work with and yet still so pigmented and, oh, These greens are just super beautiful. I'm a sucker for a decent green. Um, and when I say decent green, I don't even mean like the shade of green. I mean a green that performs well. Because you give me any shade of green, I love me. I love me my greens. I like the really grungy kind of, well, mossy ones, poopy brownie greens, bright greens, grass greens. I love the lot. So I'm now going to go into Sorbet. Couldn't resist trying this shade, guys. Seriously. If any of the shades, like, stood out to me instantly, then this is it. I mean, the whole colour story is beautiful. But... As soon as I saw this shade, it was like, oh my god, I'm going to love this. I am going to love it. Beautiful colour story. I, I just think that it's really been well thought out, the colour story. It's really, you can see, just looking at it, all the different looks you can do with it. Yeah. It's beautiful. And this green, wow, just, I don't even think I have the words, just look at that, oh, so beautiful, tap the brush stuff, um, oh. and yeah, for being a small indie brand, I mean, crikey, a lot of these indie brands are doing stuff that, there are high-end brands that don't don't pull out the stops like this and yeah I think it just it makes them stand out and Cosmic Brushes being a UK indie brand as well um for me it's easier to get hold of um and wow I mean I've got some brushes from Cosmic Brushes also I love them you quite often will have seen me use them let me show you one now because this is them and 
Yeah, they they speak to the inner child in me, but then they're just such beautiful brushes to use. So yeah, the only downside is I get a little bit distracted <laughs> playing, but that's the kid in me. That's the kid in me. Right, I am super happy with how this is looking. Right. Hmm. What do I want to put on the inner part there? I think actually, I was going to go with the green shimmer, but I think I'm going to go with Serenity. Yeah. I'm going to spray my brush just because I've done my base. I don't want fallout. And let's oh oh my word okay oh okay well i wasn't i wasn't expecting oh that is pretty Yeah, this is, this is pretty. Okay, guys, that is, that's beautiful. Oh, check that out. Right. Inner corner and brow bone. Well, there is really only one realistic option. So, for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going into Opal. I'm super excited to see how this performs. I am going to spray it for my inner corner. Um, it looks in the pan like it's got a hint of green, which is me sold instantly. Oh my god, yes. Wow. I was not prepared for that. Oh wow. I have no words. Oh my god. Okay, this is like magic. Magic, I tell you. I'm going to take that just into the very front bit. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know what else I can say. Oh my word. This was... This was a surprise. Oh, wow. Guys. Guys. A little bit up here. Okay, a lot. A lot. Yeah, guys, I am, I'm loving how this is looking. So I am going to nip off, finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished look and have a chat with you about my first thoughts on the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes, if I haven't already given it away. But yes, if you would like to see that and hear my thoughts, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with the finished look as always. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, before we have a chat about the palette, I'm just going to let you know a couple of the bits I popped on my face. So for my eyes, I use the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara. I love it. The lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. It's one of their older pairs. Um, I absolutely adore them. They're in the style Queen love them. Um, in my waterline I used the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Go Green. I originally wanted to use my Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Icebreaker but it's dried up so unfortunately 
won't be using that. Um, but I do think this looks really nice. So yeah, I'm not totally disappointed. Um, and then my wing liner <laughs> um, is one of the Artitude Cosmetics Cake It liners, one of the duochromes, and it is the shade Obsession. I don't know if you'll see on there, it goes from like a tealy, a tealy green blue to a green green. Oh, it is so pretty. I have so many of these and I love them and I am a proud brand ambassador of Artitude Cosmetics, if you didn't know. Um, but I did buy that one and most of the things I own buy them. Um, yeah, so that's that. For blush, I use the Pout and Shout blush in the shade Boozy Susie. If you're not new, I don't need to say it, but if you're new, this is my favourite blush formula ever. Um, but yes, this is the shade. It is just stunning. I love it so, so much. Um, for my highlighter, but also um, dabbed over my lipstick, is from the... Unearthly Cosmetics Low Light Palette. It says Alien Cosmetics on mine, but they're now rebranded Unearthly. And I went into Low Light, and oh, these highlighters, guys, oh, amazing. Um, the lipstick I used was the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Moonstone. It's one of my favourites. Um, but yeah, I thought the highlighter dabbed over top, kind of went with the rest of the look let me know what you think so guys let's talk about the serenity palette from cosmic brushes um as i said earlier i have the first palette they brought out royal rose i love it i it's such a beautiful palette quality is amazing i was so excited to hear they were bringing out a new palette oh guys this color story is just it's Steph in a palette and the packaging Serenity is definitely the correct name. How beautiful is this? I love it. I love the shape of it. Um I love that it's uh they've used all of the space essentially for the shadows. I do love that. No wasted space. Um this colour story is absolutely just stunning. It is so beautiful. I used as many as I possibly could um, just to give them a try out and oh, guys seriously this I mean you look at it it's a beautiful palette I was so excited to receive this but then oh when you use it in particular I have to swatch a couple of shades one especially but we'll swatch the other one too, just because I feel like it. So I am swatching Opal, which is that one, and Serenity, which is that one. And wow, just, oh, you know, I don't know if you're gonna see all of the shifts in opal. Well, you can see it on the on my inner corner, but oh, just look at those. They're like magic. I'm just so so happy that I picked this palette up. It's got the huge huge mirror. <laughs> I'm sure you like that. It's got a huge mirror, um, which is great i don't know if it folds back i don't want to risk um tearing it breaking it whatever because it's such a beautiful palette but guys if this is a color story that you like the look of it is so worth picking up i would highly recommend it you will not be disappointed um but i think it's really good because it caters both to um beginners because they're so easy to work with um both the mattes and the shimmers beautiful um but also to um i i think for a makeup artist it would be an amazing addition and then you get the people in the middle most of us youtubers no i shouldn't bracket um because there are so many amazing makeup artists 
on YouTube and just because there's no qualification does not make them any less a makeup artist. But anyways, us YouTubers, um, I can't see anybody being disappointed with this palette unless of course you don't like the colour story, in which case I'm not sure why you would buy it in the first place. Um, but yeah, I can't see anybody being disappointed with this beauty. It's easy to store, beautiful packaging, beautiful colour story, amazing formula, and yeah, I am so, so happy. Um, so yes, Cosmic Brushes, amazing palette, love it. You did great. You did an amazing job. I, I'm in love. So guys, if you've liked this video, please do give it a like. Um, it's nice to know that I'm putting out content that you actually want to see. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this palette. Have you picked it up? Are you going to pick it up? Is it a skip for now for you? Let me know what you think. I am in love with the colour story. Are you? Um, but yes, if you are new around here, hi, I am Steph, I am a huge colour lover, as you can probably tell, I love to support indie brands, and I will only use products that are cruelty free, so if all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit the subscribe button, come and join my beautiful chameleon family, and for everyone who has stuck it out to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So guys, I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.